please like and subscribe. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. This reading is for Scorpio sun, moon, and rising, and wherever Scorpio is in your birth chart, or if you feel called to the reading, then there's something here for you. Creator, please bless Scorpio's reading. Please bring in the knowledge and the wisdom of the Most High for Scorpio and for whoever else will come into Scorpio's reading. Thank you. Okay, and what's on the bottom of the deck is the devil in reverse. Hmm, someone is releasing their masculine and feminine energies from chains. Someone is no longer in the chains of addiction and the chains of attachment. Okay, Scorpio, so in your recent past, you came into either an inheritance or a great sense of wealth. The culmination of your experiences even. But I'm feeling this happened because of a sense of injustice that did not come in for you. And you had to create this justice for you. You created this very methodically, very carefully, very cleverly. But you went in and you, you went into the work that you needed to do and you did it. Uh, very brave, very fierce, very courageous, very skillful. And yeah, very, very, you were very determined. This, you bringing yourself in a sense of justice that didn't come in to you from your peers or from the people around you, it came in from you, from the work you did. And I'm feeling it was set up this way. I'm feeling that the dynamics that you found yourself in were set up this way from your guides, from the creator, from your higher soul that would ultimately, like what I'm seeing is the system is failing you. Scorpio, a system failed you in the past. Whether this is family, workplace, friendship, romance, something failed you. And systems must fail us. They must fail us. Our sovereignty depends upon it. And the reason is, uh, these are systems of power that we rely on. Friendship systems, marriage systems, religious systems, government systems, workplace systems, family systems. These are systems of power that we rely on. And these systems of power must fail us because it forces us to go within and create our own power. This forced you, this system failing to acknowledge you, forced you to acknowledge yourself, forced you to bring in a sense of justice for you. And this sets you on to a brand new path. Um, but the work was arduous and I'm feeling that you have a sense of exhaustion. Uh, but somebody else around you that sees you're bringing injustice towards you is overstressed. So you're in this querent position, but somebody else is also in this position too, is in the reading too. This is your energy, but it's also theirs. And they're seeing you develop your worldly power. You've established a power because you brought yourself a sense of justice. Uh, yeah, you were, <laughs> see, you got your back to the high priestess, or sorry, the empress. And what I'm feeling is that you were starting out new, going towards your inheritance. Now, this doesn't need to be past, present, and future. Sometimes the readings are very uh, mis mysterious. Time is very fluid. Sometimes all the cards are all now. It's all, it's, all, it's all now, even though 
it's still overlapping in past, present and future. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but it's like over layer, the layers of time, you know, time is an illusion, but it's also not, you know, when you, when you got to be at the doctor's appointment or going for surgery, you know, you're going to at two o'clock, you're going to want to be there at two o'clock. Time is not an illusion in the, in, in that sense. But in other ways it is. So what I'm feeling is that you're no longer interested in supporting a certain relationship. You're no longer interested in entertaining or further developing a relationship with somebody, with this person who was overstressed, who was watching you or who was connected to you. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles, um, yeah, with the heaviness even, a dullness, and with a lot of hard work that you put into this, you very methodically are walking away, moving on doing the work in service of this change, in service of your higher self, in service of what's true for you, in service of what is true within your heart. And you are carefully and methodically moving forward. And I find that whoever is tied up to you, and this could possibly be even you, having a sense of grief about what you've left behind, but, there, but also this is tied up to the person that you've left behind. Okay, and like I said, you overcame devil energy. You've overcome devil energy. So what is overall on the entire reading is you've been released from bondage. You're entering into a state of, of rest. For others of you, you could have overcome a tyrant. You could be married to this person and now you are entering into a divorce. Maybe this is a divorce from your parents, you know, not necessarily that you were married to your parents, but in some ways, yes, we are bonded to the people within our family. You know, divorce is just a symbolic word for, yes, it means literally people getting divorced and ending their contract of marriage, but also what could be a child leaving their parents, uh, divorcing a friendship, a friendship falling apart, a workplace falling apart, you're divorcing your work, you know. These are all symbolic forms of divorce, but nevertheless, they are the end of a contract. <clears throat> so you have survived this contract and you've come to the end of it, whatever this contract is. Okay, Scorpio, let's do some clarification. Okay, what is the justice in reverse, creator? The justice in reverse. Yeah, someone did not want to go in to deal with an issue that originated and started in the home. Uh, there was an opportunity to heal. And somebody that not, did not want to go in I'm feeling that whatever this was, this person is who did not want to go into heal has a sense of almost like a sense of um, 
they don't want to give up their material gain. They're afraid of losing their energetic finances if they go in and deal with whatever they need to deal with within their home. And it's left somebody else it's opened the door for somebody else and I'm feeling Scorpio this is you to leave home you were planning and preparing uh, this was uh, new moon moon energy so you were you weren't clear about what the future lay ahead for you but I'm feeling even in the confusion and Scorpio all confusion is is the confusion of motives so it was either your confusion or the confusion of somebody that you were tied up to, but they weren't confused about their, they weren't clear about their motives. But I'm feeling this is high priestess energy and you're learning Scorpio to trust your high, high priestess within you. You were in your past, you were learning to trust your high priestess energy. And what you were longing for was for healing. Uh, some sort of family healing of a family dynamic. But it didn't come in. Whatever healing and justice you did, you brought in for you. And you have achieved it. You've attained it because of the work that you did. Um... Okay, yes, okay, yes, 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 yes. The creator's like, wait, you're not done here. So yeah, while well, somebody refused to go in, this is you coming out of hermit mode. So whatever happened with you coming into a sense of success and culmination of your experiences and having access to your birthright, you acted on something that allowed you to go into hermit mode, into vitriol. You went into a keeper current. You went into the earth to get your answers. This healed brought you a sense of justice within your sense of home within you. And healing your sense of community, healing your sense of home and community this healing brought you also a, a golden opportunity so whoever didn't want to go into this because they were afraid of losing their finances they're going to lose those finances anyway because their finances are built on a cycle that is draining off the planet this new opportunity that came in for you you took it and it is allowing you to leave behind integrate not only not only plan for this but to actually integrate a new sense of healing into your life and truly heal your sense of home and community you're aware of your mistakes you're aware of the deceptions and the subterfuge of the moon you are aware of the subterfuge of the moon the deceptive energies of the moon the illusions that you were under that helped you survive the injustice that you went through within your family. I'm feeling this is family and you do, you come into it. With you correcting these deceptions and these um, minor mistakes, you are able to, and I'm feeling this is like polishing your lens so that you can see clearly there's no more subterfuge of the moon. It's cleared up and you come into healing. Creator, what is the fool energy? What is the fool energy? What is the fool? What is the fool, Creator? Oh, yes, death. Yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so you're this allowed this released you. 
in your very recent energies of your, of, of your current time, of the current timeline you're on, yes, this was a death within you of the dynamics that supported something that you no longer align with. You're no longer under the subterfuge of the moon within this perspective, within this relationship, within this dynamic. You see clearly, and because of it, there's a dissolving. It can no longer live in your world. It can no longer survive because you, you're not supporting it anymore. There's the end of the relationship. You're a fool. You're beginning out. Ending the relationship with yourself that supported this. Healing the relationship with yourself that supported this. And ending the relationship with the person in your life who was overstressed. This gives you a great sense of uh, victory and success. Strengthening your willpower. Uh, giving you a great sense of perseverance. Increasing your health. I'm feeling like you've healed even your cells. You've restructured your cells to your body. Yes. Um, the knowledge you've gained from this process gives you a lot of inner wisdom, generous sharing from your experiences, sharing from your wisdom. Because you had the courage to speak the truth and to call judgment on something that wasn't true and you knew it. This released the dead energies out of your life, but it also activated the dormant energies that were waiting to come online. And whoever you're connected to, they see you as absolutely brutal and creating chaos in their life. This is how they see you uh, uncompromising. You know what? When you come into the truth, the truth is uncompromising. The truth takes no prisoners. And when this person who's overstressed at your um, walking away, and I'm feeling your exhaustion brings you into a lot of rest. But whoever this is who was tied up to you, if they did the work, they would see that, yes, the truth is uncompromising. The truth takes no prisoners. The truth doesn't have an agenda other than to shine its light, just like the sun. Just shines its light it doesn't care it's not about you know that's why they say the bible says in the old testament that god is no respecter of persons i see this scripture as the sun itself it's the shining orb that doesn't care the sun the sun shines on the just and on the unjust it is no respecter of persons and the rain, same thing with the rain. It rains on the just and the unjust. It is no respecter of persons. And that's what this person, you know, is thinking that you have some sort of favor. But no, it's just the fact that you're standing on the truth and they're not. Okay, creator, what is the Knight of Pentacles? What is the Knight of Pentacles? Scorpio. Oof. So this brings you into a sense of increased wealth, increased financial, um, energetic finances. Uh, 
you are being seen even by the creator and especially by you as and by some of the people in your life who are supporting you as very very solid you mean what you say you stand behind your words you stand behind your actions even your mistakes you stand behind them you needed to make these mistakes in order to learn you needed to go through these and walk through the mud you got dirty and your life made a mess and you were required to that's why we come here we don't come here to be all perfect and holy like no 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 we come here to make a mess and you are solid because of what you learned from your life you have solid character and intelligence you're very steady people see you as reliable very reliable absolutely scorpio this brings you a sense of emotional stability and a lot of the satisfaction and the work you have done to release yourself from the injustice brings you justice you brought yourself justice as i said by doing the work and committing to you but somebody else is there was an unwanted or unwarranted or i'm fine i'm feeling this is more unwanted self assertion um also somebody feels unseen their lack of recognition of the hard work they did in in your life that's because they don't see themselves they want you to see them scorpio but what they're saying what the what the guys are saying to me what the creator is saying to me is that they don't see themselves no matter how much you see them it is not going to make them see themselves uh they have a great sense of stress they feel like they have a sense of what back with the 6 of wands here they feel i'm feeling they have a sense of excess pride they're very proud of themselves and i'm feeling they use this to to compensate for a lack of self esteem and that's why they took this so harshly they, they they this has hit them whatever this end is the ending the death of a relationship has hit them so hard and uh they feel like they're being punished and it's keeping them up at night they're having a sense of worry and stress but this is not yours you need to trust their their work they're kind of in the underworld and they're struggling with it they're fighting with pluto they're fighting with themselves they don't want to hear the truth and they have hostility they're hostile there's discord disunion yeah and there is a sense of hostility creator what is the emperor what is the emperor about what is the emperor for scorpio <clears throat> top card okay Oh, beautiful. So the Emperor Scorpio is you have developed your power, your established force upon the world through trusting yourself upon the physical plane. I don't mean like on the entire world everybody knows who who you are. No, I don't mean it like that. I mean you have established your force, your life and your self-esteem, your personal power. in your own life in your own physical life this is what's coming towards you 
the end of a cycle, you'll be establishing this force with the acknowledgement of the closing of a cycle that isn't closing as perfectly as you would have hoped or would have preferred. But it had to happen this way for you to come into you so that you didn't wait for this person. This person can't hold over your head that I helped you get here. I gave you these answers. You owe me because of what I... No, 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 no. I'm feeling that the spirit of confusion this person was tied up to served them well and served you well because you're the one that got clear. This brings you into a sense of celebration, uh, harmony first with you, light mass, and light mass and energy. That's our body. That's our entire existence, mind, body, and spirit. Ego, what is it? Ego, id, and super consciousness or something like that. But I'm finding the three folds of your being are unified. And it's bringing you people that can nurture this and that have gone through their own work that can resonate with you where you are. There's new power coming into you, Scorpio. You're standing on it. It is serving you, but you're still healing. This power is not going anywhere yet because you're still culminating it. You're still developing it. And it's helped you heal from the three archetypal wounds, maybe even from a broken heart. But it's just helping you heal your hearts from what's happened. Right now you have a sense of lack of purpose or lack of direction and I'm, or you will feel like this and that's okay. That's okay. I'm feeling like new desire is growing in you. New, new, I'm seeing new green shoots pushing up and growing up from the from the from the soil so you've cut through a lot of your delusions you've uh, neutralized a lot of them spread them into your soil to fertilize the psyche the soil of your psyche and now there's new desires coming in healthy desires that is going to further your self-esteem further your evolution and a judgment, your judgment, the judgment that you have made on yourself, on your life, like a final decision, like a sentencing coming on, uh, coming down, uh, determination, you are determined. This is also atonement with you. You have made an atonement with yourself by doing the work. You, it's kind of like you lost yourself in the chaos and darkness of this contract. And you had to go into the darkness to find yourself and you did, and that is your atonement. That is beautiful, Scorpio. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, Creator, can we have an Egyptian God's Oracle card, please? To tie up this reading tie off this reading and close it off. Now that we've pulled the secrets from the cards, what do you want Scorpio to know? What is your final word and guidance, suggested guidance for Scorpio? Beautiful. Wisdom, oh, Seshat, Seshat, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Whew. Beautiful. Seshat, her name means the scribe, deity, teacher of arithmetic, astronomy, astrology, and architecture. 
She is depicted dressed in a priestly leopard skin and with a banner on her head supporting a seven-pointed star. She is the patroness of scribes and builders and is the most cultured of the Egyptian divinities. She symbolizes the manifestation of intelligence. Sashat reveals herself to you to illuminate your path of knowledge on the mental plane. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Oh, whatever you did to bring power onto the physical plane first came on the mental plane. Her presence strengthens your courage, sharpness, and hope. Although you may have to endure sacrifices and renunciations, go forward and trust in her profound knowledge. You have passed a Rubicon, Scorpio. What this tells me is you have passed a Rubicon. And to keep going, don't stop. Keep, keep going, keep honoring yourself. And you will be establishing this power in your life. It's already here. And this energy, this divine energy is confirming this with you, that it's already here. Keep, keep going. And this will be made manifest physically in your life because of the work that you, you are doing. Beautiful. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading. I hope that you find this reading helpful. I hope it is useful. And I hope you can take it forward into your life. Alrighty, you guys, you take care and I'll see you in the next reading. Okay.